What is going on guys? It's your boy Sesso here, bringing us a video here today, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial how to create your own complex box video, whatever the concept is called in the title, if you have a video today. Um, so yeah, this is actually my first video on my new PC. I got a new PC, maybe I'll put the build, maybe I'll make an update setup video. Until then though, I'm on my new PC, it's freaking awesome, it's fast, it's dope, I enjoy it so very much, and today is the video. Today's the first video of it, and I didn't post this video on Saturday, as I'm recording it Saturday night, and I'm posting it on Sunday because I had to build it and get my program and stuff like that. So, yep. Uh, yeah, just so you guys know the concept itself, it was inspired by Evan C. His ad is currently Obey Evan C. You can look him in the uh, look him up in the uh, in the description down below. Sorry, English is a very hard language. Um, yeah, he's freaking freaking awesome. He had a really cool little concept, and I kind of want to get my own rendition on it. So this is what I came up with. Um, so it's really fun, very simple. I put complex, like just kidding, because of course it's not that hard. If you think about it and look at it, it's more or less the construction of the video itself. So or sorry, the uh, the design itself. So. Really fun design coming up right now, so of course, don't hit, don't forget to leave a like. Two links on the video, you can see it down below. As always, guys, it's probably most likely to be the PSC of this video here today. And uh, yeah, if there's any settings untweaked or tweaked or something like that that's wrong, just let me know. I'm pretty sure everything is pretty much the same. Until then, we'll figure it out, right? We've got to record the video and start doing this thing. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Also, really quickly, I do have all the uh, hex codes that I have over here as well. So just in case you guys want to use the same exact ones, I will be using that during the video itself. So... Until then, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing going. I'm going to hide this right here. And what this layer is, is these little hex codes up top that I will be using. I'm just going to hide it actually as well for now. So the first thing I'm going to be actually doing is basically this first uh, little, I guess, rectangle-y fun little thing there. Um, I might just, why not just use the same exact one? I'll just show you what it looks like. So basically what I ended up doing was I just sort of like clicked over and just sort of like made a very, I don't know how you would say, just a very... I guess diagonal with straight lines box if that makes any sense right and if you ever done like I guess how do you say uh, uh overlays if you ever done overlay stuff like that if you probably realize or kind of recognize the sort of like angular sort of like lines that I am making so if you guys did not know this is sort of like what I'm doing right click over at one point I hold shift by the way to make straight lines I just give myself a simple little angle I hold shift again make a straight line angle line angle line do that all the way until I get all the way up here and then basically you want to go on the outside and then connect it on the outside that way we can fill it in and what's get filled in will be in this vicinity right here which is gonna be cool and great so on this new layer I'm gonna fill this in with the color green that I have here the hex code for this is a 4 ca one d press ok press ok again and then delete the path so that is my first sort of like shape i guess to of course create this really fun little constructed project right i don't know why i said project design there we go okay so i'm actually gonna basically do the other shape the main shape that i want to do really quick as well which is this one right here so i'm gonna do like this little shape right here and i'm just gonna go ahead and just copy this really quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like without the actual design there. Because I want it to at least be as close as possible to my original design. So, basically, start on the left-hand side. You see this is the actual corner of the banner design here. I start a little bit further up. And I start also on the outside of it. Clicked up, right? And I sort of try to match up with these, I guess, angles that I have here. Now, you, you can get really picky and really, really make sure you get into it. And sort of really make sure that you get it as close as possible. But for me, I just match this angle here. And besides going up with this one as well, I went kind of down. And then sort of try to match this angle. See, this angle is not very matched. And even though if I copied it on my original design, that means it's not matched there as well. But try to match, like, sort of lines in a way, right? So just give it that nice sort of, I guess, I get, like, how do you say, what is that feeling that you feel that just looks, that feels really great? And then, like, it just happens. What is that word I'm looking for? It feels good. Uh, whatever. We'll go with it. Anyway, this color here should be the color... For me, that is the hex code is 060608. Now, for me, with this color here, if I press this okay, okay, again, it's only a tad bit darker. And then what goes on here is you want to have sort of four shades of color. For me, I'm using a nice green, of course. I'm using this background color, which I originally had, but I don't know if I told you guys that, but it's the hex code 08080A. And then, of course, this other black that I just gave you guys as well. So, they're not actually pure black also, if you can kind of like click over here. It's actually on a blue, and it's just right above the blue. Just a little bit of a blue tint. So, that's that. I kind of want to have four different shades of color, right? So, that's why I have this going on. So, once you have this sort of constructed, you're pretty much on your way to sort of, I guess, creating your own design. Now, for me, like I said, I'm just going to be trying to get as original as the concept that I had before. So, I'm going to do one more box, and then I'll just freely do it and see what happens, right? 
get as close as possible that I want to make this box here which is this thing right here okay so what I did for this one of course kind of follow this angle follow the top angle go down at the same angle and then I, I could go up if I want to but I went down like I did over here as well and then it's it's really sort of like what you kind of want to do you want to make the coolest shapes in the little wackiest ways ever but you also still want to make sure that you're making it cohesive is that the word I'm looking for yeah we'll make it cohesive uh, make it look like it's meant to be and not sort of just you know all over the place right so I have this green I have this sort of darker black right, we're just gonna call it darker just darker blue and then a lighter bluish black sure English is a hard hard language anyway once you have some like basically this set up you're honestly ready to get this thing going so pretty much the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some gradients to my green little colors that I have here right now it kind of looks like it has green already because I'll really luscious this green looks however i'm gonna just basically you can either use of course gradient overlay and then go on it with that but i'm gonna choose to make a new layer create a new layer uh, with, with the created excuse me with the new created layer clipping mask it so basically make a new layer right click clipping mask it right above this layer here so right now it's on top of this layer that i just un uh, unhid if i press my brush here change my foreground color to white use a nice soft brush which means zero hardness and a nice size a default brush is fine click and drag and just like give it a nice little like gradient yourself right i like to do it myself because i feel like i don't know it just makes it i don't know i feel like i'm connected more to the design let's just lie and say i don't really like to use gradient overlay um okay and we'll just do that on this side here for this one and then overlay and lower your opacity it down just a little bit so nice little gradient just makes it pop just a little bit more it looks pretty good so what I want to do right now is I want to make another black box right here. And for that box, I think I'm going to use this color here. Um, or we might just use the top color here. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a new box again. What I will do for the, by the way, for you guys, top green. That way the tutorial, uh, sort of, uh, how do you say the word I call this? Shape main. The tutorial PSD that you guys get at 200 likes will have it named. That way you guys know what's going on here and this shape will gonna be like on the bottom black all right go ahead and just click over here click like so I want to kind of get this you know nice and angled and we're just gonna go all the way over here actually we'll go in the middle of this and then just drop down try to follow this angle here connect it right click fill the path in with the color this one boom there we go now we got some more boxes going on so you can sort of see this sort of layer kind of technique in a way start to like formulate right so <coughs> excuse me for this like i guess moment i'm gonna go ahead and see what i want to do like i want to sort of maybe let's add like the white spots now yeah uh i also feel like i should probably lower this down we don't have to have that so big because i don't really want to do too much with that just like maybe like that looks okay okay that looks fine all right so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna make another new layer and we're gonna just basically pen tool out a really nice white box so let's just pen tool out like a white box and we're just gonna follow this one here and I'll even go up here and like go halfway or something like that come across Ooh, I can make it all white or I can just like mm, I don't know it depends I feel like I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna do what I, I did before but you can make it all white the entire sort of block but I'm gonna make sure there's a little bit of green hanging over there and for me I'm gonna make this go a little taller that way I can make this line thicker than this one and I'll make this line that I have here thicker right here. So I'm going to make this just drop down a little bit and then boom. So I have a, you know, a pretty wide radius here, a skinnier radius, and it gets really, really skinny. So that's what I mean by having it look like you're, you're meant, you're meaning to do the things that you're doing, right? This right here is not completely even, but for the sake of the video, I'm not going to try to make this all super even, even for the preview that I did, it wasn't crazy even either. So that's one shape here. I'll just fill this in with the color white because that's the color I'm going to have for that shape. We're going to call this white box top and then we're gonna make another new layer and make an, uh, a basically a white box bottom right so i'm gonna go ahead and just do this again just like so drop this over here i'm like i said i'm holding shift to make a straight line and we'll do something like this we'll come down why not even just do something different this time in this video than my than i had in my preview and then just come down all the way over here and then come down over here that's not that bad we're not making incredibly even shapes by the way like even widths of this 
And I think that's kind of the beauty of it, because I kind of like how that looks when they, you don't make it completely even. You just give it nice, you know, sort of thickness. Also make the thickness very noticeable. That way it looks, like I said, it, it's meant to be. So there we go. Pay, put that white. There we go. And then this is the bottom white box. So now we have our sort of four shades of color going on here. And I meant by color, I mean, you know, four, let's just say shades, period, right? We have like a lighter black, we have a darker black, we have a green, and now we have a white. Those are our four main sort of color schemes that we're going to work with. And that's basically what you want to keep on working with when you actually start adding more and more shapes in. We're going to have one more tone, but I feel like just having four shades is like one way to say it. But then having tones as well is sort of like also a great thing because as you can see right now my gr my green spots right here they look very very dull it looks kind of boring it looks empty so that's what i mean by using a different shade like a darker shade like right now i'm gonna actually why not just do it now because i'm talking about it i would do it at the end but i'll just do it right now why not let's just go in the middle of this why not and then go like here here and then just do something like that and let's just have it look like that right and just for the sake of I know it's gonna work, I'm gonna just go ahead and put this up here as well. So I'm gonna make another box up here for another shade of green. Boom, boom, and then boom. Oops. And just like so. Okay, cool. So now I have two boxes basically. On this one layer, I'm gonna fill them both in with a darker color green that I had. So basically I chose this one because I already I originally click on the original color that I have, right? And I just said, it, I'm going to move this down. And I found this color here. Look, see, I just moved a little further down. So this green is a darker green. And the hex code is 677D1C. Press OK. Press OK again. And now you can start to see that it doesn't look as empty. Immediately just doesn't look as empty. Of course, I'm filling space. But I'm filling space that kind of makes a lot more sense than you would think, right? Just use a, a darker shade and then apply it just like so. Now, what I actually did with these darker shaded colors here, I'm going to call this dark green boxes. What I did with these uh, dark green boxes, I'm going to double click on them. I'm going to go to inner shadow, right? I'm pretty sure like a lot of you guys already know what's going to go, like what's going to happen here. This is an old technique for like, I called it an indention technique or indention. Basically, you give yourself sort of a depth, right? When you add an inner shadow to something, it looks more 3D. It looks like there's depth happening inside the actual sort of design, right? So what, what it looks like right now is that this dark green is sort of behind or indented in the actual banner design itself. So what the settings that I have here is at zero distance, zero choke, and about 18 size. And then based on my angles at 90 degrees, my blend modes, of course, on multiply, that should all be default, however, besides the opacity, moving it, and then the distance and stuff like that, right? And I, what I did is added some patterns, right? I already had these patterns in here. This is actually Photoshop newest version, just like the default patterns that they have as well. Um, if you guys want to look for some patterns, look up like dotted patterns or I don't know, default patterns that with lines, I don't know, like look up something that gives you something like this, right? It looks really cool. What this looks like to me is like, how do you say like, uh, like metal sheet, like a metal sheet. That's what it looks like to me. You've probably seen like texture like that. You can use textures. That does not matter. Whatever you have to use pattern overlays. It's just a quick way. If you're going to have one that looks like this. So put it like that. Blend mode on vivid light, and then I'm gonna put my opacity on 40%, and I think that looks pretty freaking fantastic. Now that just immediately fills a space for me, and it looks really freaking good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add the word complex here. Complex, and we're gonna give it that size that it needs, which is about so. And I'll just make this green like that. All right, we just fill that space with the text right there. Just very very simple. Uh, do I like on the video equals secret download boom just a nice little shameless plug boom and I put that right here and then I'll just you know give the subtext a nice little green double sort of color there as well now our text itself fills the space now there's a couple more shades you can do as well so you have an empty space here empty space here you can add some shades here as well so I'm gonna do make a new layer Pen tool, boom, boom, sort of follow this angle here. I didn't do a great job, but I'll fix it just a little bit with my arrow keys. Follow this angle right here. Go up just like so. Maybe come over here and then drop this down with that angle and then connect it. And then hopefully we get that nice and even just like that. 
Okay, and is this even with that one? That's even with this one. I can actually bring this all the way over here if I want to, or even all the way out. Why not? So basically what's going to happen here is I'm going to right click, fill this pattern uh, color in, excuse me, and then just fill this in with this black right here. I believe that I just used black. And what I ended up doing was just lowering my opacity down to a shade darker, which is like around 70% for me right there. That does not look bad whatsoever. And that's sort of what I want, right? Just have it a little more darker spot. I can do the same exact thing over here. I'm gonna put on the same exact uh, layer because I don't really, doesn't really care right now. But boom, add like a nice black, just like so. It'll add the same exact sort of, uh, what do I have? 70 opacity on it. We're just gonna add black spacing. Sure. Okay, so now I have space here and here. So now, for me, I feel like there's a little bit of emptiness going on over here and the inside. So what I ended up doing for this was I made a new layer. I took my pen tool. I followed this line right here, just like so. I'm just going to go all the way down over here and then all the way over here as well. And I believe I'm on the line. So I'm going to make a nice little rectangle just like this. Go all the way down, make that even as much as you can, and make that even as much as you can. It looks okay for now. And I, what I ended up basically doing was right click, fill the color in, and I just use a basically green from this gradient that I have up top. Press OK, press OK again. And then what I just simply did was took a nice, very, you know, zero hardness brush and just erased a couple times, just like so. And that itself just gave it just a little more life. Now I did the same exact thing on this side over here. I'm gonna call this green fade. We're gonna make another new layer and we're gonna put a white fade basically now before I do the white fade I added, I did some little simple little things as well before I did that one So what I ended up doing was on this new layer. I'm gonna go ahead and just click here Just like this and I'll put like maybe go down a little bit. Why not put one over here Based on just making lines right now not too hard. You can do the same exact thing Let's follow this angle here Come over here and then follow that right there Perfect. Now I have like three simple little lines. Now these lines look really cool in the banner design because you can just see that it's just meant to be, okay? I'm gonna actually put a line over here as well because why not? And then why not put one here as well? Let's just add lines all over the place, right? Just like that, okay? Basically, if you guys did not know, I'm making new lines just by basically sort of like making a line and then pressing control, clicking off, and I can make another separate line just so you guys know, okay? Very simple. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna make stroke lines. It's very, very easy. If I take my brush settings, change it to two size, and then 100 hardness on whatever set, like basically a nice default brush setting. What's gonna happen here is with the on the new layer, with the pen tool, you right click, stroke path, choose the tool brush, and then press OK. What's gonna happen is here I'm gonna delete the path, and now I have basically brush settings, or excuse me, my brush settings are now stroke settings for like a very simple line with the nice thickness that we chose, and I have this here, which looks really freaking awesome, really cool. You can actually single one out, right? And then sort of just right click on it. Excuse, I'm just failing to close the actual pa uh, path. Right click on it, make a selection, and basically cut this out on that layer. I'm gonna right, right click with the, um, this tool right here, the magic, excuse me, I'm gonna say magic wand tool, rectangular marquee tool, right click, layer via cut, single this one out and change this color to a green just like so press ok press ok again so now this is a green stroke while all the other ones are white strokes okay there we go so that looks pretty good i can probably even just single this one out as well based i'll show you guys again pen tool just pen tool around it right click make a selection Make sure you're on top of that layer you want to cut it out from. Press M on your keyboard for the marquee tool. Right click, layer via cut, double click, pattern over, or excuse me, color overlay, and then just like so. Now I got two greens. Oh, that was my phone. That was not yours, I promise. Okay, and we'll just change this back to, we'll just make this green stroke two. Perfect. Now, last but not least, like I said before, was that white fade. Make a new layer, and go like so. And then use like the same exact width. Hopefully, hold shift. There we go. Try to get the same exact width. Something close to it. And eh, that's not the same, but forget it. We're just gonna close this and then fill this in with the color white. Press OK. Take our soft brush and just erase right there and erase right there. A nice little simple white fade. And now, basically, I believe that's. Oh, is that pretty much it? I think that's pretty much it. 
<coughs> I did do a little little different little thing as well. What I ended up doing was just like so, just let's just make a nice little uh let's try to follow this angle here a little bit. This one right here. And make a nice box. We'll just make this you ever like seen like vents, I guess, on like a car or something like that? You sort of see like this sort of design. I'll make it green. Make it green, make it white, whatever the heck you guys want to do. And then just sort of duplicate it. What I'll actually do is make one green and one white. Just like so. And I'll just sort of just repeat this going on. That is my phone. I'm so sorry. I don't know who the heck is texting me. Alright. Alright. That's cool. Alright. I just had to check my phone really quick. Alright. Sweet. That was like the first time I ever checked my phone. Dude, I'm, I'm turning into a terrible YouTuber. Okay. So, I'm just duplicating this a couple times, right? And I'll just like put a space in between it. Why not? Put another space in between it. And then maybe like do another green like that right and i just hold shift on all this click on the first one that you made the first duplicate well this is the last one excuse me and then click on the first one you made which is right here hold shift it will select everything in between you can press Control e in your keyboard to merge it all together and then you can have one full group just do that like that and i'll have one over here and i'll even put some down here and i can just hold alt and shift to move it over and duplicate it just like so and pretty much you sort of have like your finished product now, this is very, very fun. This is very cool. You can also do a lot more things than just this. You can add pictures. Maybe you can add like a sort of picture right where the green is and just add like a nice picture there or even like utilize a spot here and then put a picture there. It's very, very freaking awesome. It's a very fun concept. I feel like if you just keep building it, the more you build to it, I feel like the better it honestly looks. And it's a freaking awesome concept. Like I said, inspired by Evan C. Really freaking awesome. Like I just, I'm just very happy I can show you guys this. It's really fun. I just feel like it's really, really fun. It also kind of reminds me of just, like I said, making overlays, which is pretty pretty fun for me as well because i feel like you have like really awesome constructed overlays you utilize that and sort of put this in a bigger uh, perspective add some pattern overlays add some in, uh, indentions four shades of color and you got something really awesome and cool like this so thank you guys so much for freaking watching don't forget to leave a like on the video 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below which will most likely be the psd of this video here today as always guys I freaking love you guys so very much. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SiswayHQ. Do not forget to check out my SelfI, selfi.com slash SiswayHQ for any premans and packs of those $5. And as always, guys, comment down below any tutorials you guys would like to see me do. Um, <clears throat> that is it for today. Like I said, I don't know if I actually, I don't know if I said that. Um, if I had a new PC, I, of course, you guys already know I had a PC, new PC. However, the whole specs and stuff like that, I'll probably put in the description of this video here today. Or we'll make another up update set of video. Like, which one do you guys want? Because I kind of did change my room a little bit. And I could actually sort of change it up even more or add some more stuff to make it look cooler for the video itself. Um, yep, that is it for today. I'm going to go ahead and edit this video here now. And I'm going to talk to you guys in the next video. So, talk to you guys later. Since we HQ out, peace. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive later.